the Witch of the Whispering Woods. The woods whispered secrets in the twilight, a symphony of rustling leaves and snapping twigs. Agnes, her name a forgotten echo in the minds of the village, lived deep within its heart, a solitary figure in a crooked cottage made of moss-covered stones. She was the witch, the one they whispered about in hushed tones, the one they blamed for the sudden storms, the withered crops, the unexplained sickness. Agnes wasn't a cruel witch, not in the way they imagined. She was old, her face etched with wrinkles that held the secrets of centuries, her eyes a bottomless well of ancient knowledge. Yet her heart, like the woods around her, was cold and unyielding. She was a creature of the forest, bound to its rhythms, its secrets, its dark magic. One day a young man named Thomas wandered into her domain. Lost, desperate, and seeking shelter from the approaching storm, he stumbled upon her cottage, its windows glowing with an eerie, otherworldly light. Agnes, her voice a raspy whisper, ushered him inside, her gaze piercing through him, seeing his fear, his vulnerability. "'You are lost, child,' she rasped, her voice like dry leaves crunching underfoot. "'The woods are dangerous, especially at night.' Thomas, shivering in the cold, nodded. He had heard the stories, the warnings about Agnes, but desperation had driven him to her doorstep. As the storm raged outside, Agnes brewed a potion, the pungent smell filling the air. She offered it to Thomas, her eyes gleaming with a strange joy. This will keep you warm, child, she said, her lips curling into a smile that chilled him to the bone. He drank, the potion burning his throat, leaving behind a strange tingling sensation. He felt a surge of energy, a sense of belonging, as if he had always been a part of this darkness, this ancient magic. Days turned into weeks, and Thomas found himself increasingly drawn to Agnes. He helped her with her chores, gathered herbs, and learned the language of the woods. He felt a strange kinship with her, a connection to the ancient power that pulsed through the forest. But the change was not a pleasant one. His eyes turned hollow, his skin pale and translucent. He became withdrawn, haunted by nightmares of gnarled trees reaching for him, their branches laden with whispers. His once clear gaze now held a dark, knowing look, reflecting the ancient magic that had taken root within him. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Agnes led Thomas to a clearing, a circle of ancient trees bathed in a spectral moonlight. He could feel the power radiating from her, the same power that now pulsed through him. You are one of us now, child, she croaked, a triumphant gleam in her eyes. A part of the forest, bound to its secrets, its darkness. Thomas, his voice a hollow echo, looked at the swirling mist, the dancing shadows, and whispered, I am. He was Agnes's apprentice now, another soul bound to the darkness, another whisper in the ancient symphony of the woods. The forest had claimed another, its grip tightening with each passing day. And as the moonlight bathed the clearing in a ghostly glow, the witch's cackle echoed through the trees, a chilling reminder of the horrors that lurked in the heart of the woods. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.